Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome, and that is this Minecraft 1.8 slime block powered tree farm. Now, ever since slime blocks were introduced into the game, I've always had this idea that I would set up some form of system that would grab the tree trunk and move it elsewhere to put it into one big block so that you can mine it very easily. Now, this idea seemed very simple, and I thought the redstone would be just as simple. But it turns out it got very complicated due to the fact that slime blocks stick to everything, you have to make certain exceptions that you don't usually have to with pistons. But I managed to get a working system and I thought I'd show it for you, so here it is. Now this design pretty much works the same as all other tree farms. You got yourself a dispenser that is chucking out bone meal, you throw down your sapling, it gets turned into a tree and then is moved off by the slime blocks, pulled back and pushed across into a big tree storage area. As you plant more trees, this storage area will begin to fill up, meaning that you get a big block of wood at the end of it, so you can just come along with your efficiency 5 axe, take it all out, and get yourself tons of wood. Now, it may seem a little bit long-winded, you know, you have to plant the trees, wait for them to be moved across, and then you just take them down using your axe, which you could have done anyway, but trust me, this makes the whole process a lot faster and a lot easier than going into a jungle and taking it all down. The actual system for picking up the blocks is actually fairly interesting. If we take a look here, chucking down a block, you can see it gets pulled backwards and then pulled back there and then pushed across like that. Now my original idea was very different from this. I was going to pull it back and then push it across and that would be done. But what I had forgotten is that you can't have any blocks here or here, which means that you wouldn't be able to have the pistons on this side and then you wouldn't be able to have the blocks on this side. So originally my very simple idea turned into a fairly complicated contraption with tons and tons of redstone and loads of different circuits running. Now in terms of footprint and size, this is considerably smaller than a lot of the tree farms out there. But as always, there is room for improvement, and that is why I want to issue you as the community a challenge. If you can make this design simpler, or smaller, or faster, then I would suggest recording a video of it, sending it to me on Twitter because that is the fastest way to contact me, and if it's good enough, I might end up doing a tutorial on it. But for the minute, there is a world download in the description for anyone that wants to check this one out in more detail. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.